Hey guys, welcome back Drip and Farm 4 Poverty. I'm your host Drip Coach and let's jump right into it. So in today's video, giving an update on Drip and the Drip community projects and Forex announcements or lack thereof, whatever you want to call it. So as of this video, it is November 21st, which is Tuesday, 3.45 p.m. And this was on the 19th. So this is late and you'll be seeing it even later because it'll be posted later. But basically he had a DAO meeting. Um, I didn't get any alpha from any of the DAO members. Basically, uh, from what I understand, a lot of people are not active anymore in the DAO. A lot have left as well. Uh, the REAP token is also down from what it was before. Correction, I take that back. It's actually up from um, a low of just above, below $10. It's now back to 14. But I also know that there are members that were kicked out of the DAO and that is due to Ray compiling a dossier, so to speak, on the members' activity outside of the DAO and other telegrams, and that caused them to get kicked out of a paid group. So this just ties a bow on the speculations I had for Forex and Ray and how they are operating together, because if you're paying for a membership of something to get access and your activity outside of that location gets you kicked out, and that is all because of one person's personal dossier or vendetta against you that causes me to have some pause regarding how trustless and transparent things are in our protocols. But that being said, again, I believe in the power of the community and that brings me to an initiative uh, by the Drip Warriors still going on. And um, there's right now, there was about 10,000 drip, I think, in the prize pool. I don't know what it is. Yeah, now it's 4,000. This is about two rounds ago. So I'm going to jump into this round and see if I can't win myself some drip while I tell you guys about other developments. So we're going to check out Wasteland Labs update. There are another video they dropped. And then we will come back and see how this is. So right now, uh, six minutes left, 1300 prize pool, biggest sacrifice, only four tickets, which is $4. So I'm going to jump down here and do because I'm going to sacrifice uh, 0 0.023, which comes out to, I think, eight bucks, six bucks. So we'll go ahead and throw six bucks into the pool here. That will give me 13 tickets. I think it said this is one of my very small wallets, but also one of the ones that I started way back in the day at the $130 price range. And um, I think it's only like 300 drip or so that I'd be able to get out of this one when it's all said and done. So why not throw a $6 gamble play <laughs> at this? Uh, it will get me 16 tickets and it would get me, if I won just the biggest sacrifice prize, 674 drip, which would be, Eight and a half bucks. So I'd sacrifice six and get two and a half extra potential. Or I could just have thrown six dollars into drip. But I just let you know I haven't given up on drip. I've given up on Forex and of course rate, but I haven't given up on drip at all. So do I have yep, there I am. Biggest sacrifice or six tickets. So we will see what happens. Maybe I could also win a runner-up prize or whatever. 31 tickets in this round. I think that's got me. Let's check the dashboard, make sure that showed up. Yep, 16 tickets in this round. So that could be nice. So shouts out to the Drip Warriors. I don't know how often they put this stuff together, but this announcement was in the group as of uh, earlier today. So they had 20,000, 10,000 Drip in the pot. Uh, well, it's had over 20,000 here, but that's 10,000 there. So um, I think they still have like initiatives where people are uh, donating as well as uh, joining. They have this NFT Drip Warriors DAO. It's like one BNB to get in. So there's still community projects again that are working towards getting things done. Nothing with Forex. Again, I don't trust him at all anymore. I used to think that he was operating independent, but now after again, someone's kicked out of the DAO, um, that just lets me know that he just marches to the beat of whatever Ray has to say. And clearly Ray exploited the community and Forex did absolutely nothing about it. So that lets me know that uh, going forward, I would avoid anything they do like the plague, but play it smart because they will selfishly pump their own bags and do whatever they can to fleece their community members 
So if you're aware of these tactics, you can still, um, you know, make some money. Like don't hate the player, hate the game kind of thing. Operate the world the world is, not the way you wish it was. So that being said, know how they play and what uh, is going to be happening. And you could potentially um, make some money out of this, which leads us to Wasteland Labs. So remember, I told you guys, I have no idea if Ray is behind this or not from what Ray has said. Um, they just reached out to him. He's not in cahoots with them or anything like that. They just reached out to him to share the project because of he being a mouthpiece with community members behind him. So it would get enough eyeballs on it. So this is their recent uh, video. We're gonna play this video, then we'll check back on the um, raffle. After the boom, the city, nothing but ruins now, had taken a beating, the kind that leaves nothing but memories and dust. Some folks scattered, leaving behind the man who built it all, like he was the reason for this whole mess. Water was scarce and there were splits within our encampments. Some of our most loyal companions even tapered off and found contaminated watering holes. In this world, searching for clean water is like chasing a mirage. It makes people desperate. They don't see the poison seeping in, turning what's life-giving into something life-taking. Those who became known as the Wasted began their raids of terror. They showed no mercy, no care, and all they wanted was payback, tearing through the city like a storm of anger. birth through this unorganized savage group emerged a different kind of terror. They preached democracy and said water was owed unto them. There was something insincere about it. We're going to help you through this, my friend. Don't you worry. They appointed leaders amongst themselves. Thousands have lived without love, not one without water. How will we survive in this wasteland? We demand retribution! And this new terror convinced the wasted to cause chaos under the guise of things being unfair. As a symbol of their rebelliousness, they wore crowns of a pig to symbolically disrespect the leader who built the great city in the first place. And those who emerged out of the wasted with retribution on their tongues, offenses and hatred in their heart, and a crown of a pig on their mind, became known as the Lords of the Flood. This is Team Alpha. Range one, copy three zero one two. We're heading out into the deep of the wasteland. When you hear from us next, be ready, because it will be time. All right, that is interesting. I'm not going to go back through it and break that one down. Uh, you guys can definitely do that. There's some very deep plot points that these guys are i don't know pointing at weaving together um and depending on what lens you look through could give you a different opinion of what they are hinting at but again it's very high production value they're doing a great job of teasing things out and um nobody knows yet what this actually will be or what they have in store but it is worth following because as i showed you guys with 
um, the Drip Warriors. They have a collective going on, and then you still have Drip Marble Run. Uh, as far as I know, you still got Drip 21. You have, um, I was looking for Wasted. Let's see. Yeah, you have these guys. Um, you have W Drip from the AI Drip team. There's actually an update from them. Let's go there as well. Uh, actually, before we read this, let's check back on my, um, what do you call this thing? This. Hey, so I won 3,081 drip. So for my $6 investment, what did that get me? 3,081. Oh, shit, 40 bucks. That worked out nice. <laughs> I'd say that like a big deal, but what is that? A five, six X? If I got a six X on my return, six and a half, that's not bad. That's pretty cool. I'll take that. So, um, yeah, there are still initiatives and there's still some potential, you know, within the ecosystem. So, uh, now I have a max payout of 3000 drip over there. Cool. So that is the only way to play this. Remember, cause there is no hydrate. So you get lucky and people are sleeping on the, um, uh, triple D and community is still adding utility to it. Then there are obviously a play. You guys saw that in real time. So I paid $6 worth of BNB, um, $5.99. And then I got 40 bucks worth of drip back. So I can't complain with that. That's better than nothing at all. So let's go back over here to, cause that leads us literally to other community development. So again, I know nothing about this. Supposedly again from Ray, he's not behind this, but again, he was championing it. So do your own research, but the main thing I want you guys to understand is that as long as there are community projects trying to bring the price of drip up, we can benefit. Now that means be careful if a project comes out and it can be shilled and there's referral links, definitely do not jump onto Barktown conglomerate to shill or join anything from him. But if it helps the drip token price increase, then that is a good thing. And especially if you don't have to buy any other drip or chase a falling knife, catch a falling knife in this case. So right now, what they've done is the W drip contract is live, open for community review and operational, ensuring seamless functionality with the help of scripts and the Explorer. Discover the transparency or innovative contract. We have successfully deployed the W drip contract on both BNB and Arbitrum. So right now it's just between Arbitrum and BNB. And we will deploy on additional chains as community sees fit. Your input matters. We are also excited to announce the first official drip has officially been wrapped. Let's take a look at that. Uh, open. And click here to view the wrapping. I'm not done reading yet. Uh, and bridged across chain. Click here to view the first bridging. Click here to view the tax on Arbitrum. So they're doing it, like I said, all transparent. Uh, what's on the horizon? W drip UI. Expect a user friendly interface for effortless wrap and unwrap actions, as well as an int intuitive UI for burning AI drip NFTs and claiming W drip tokens. Casino games. Users will have the ability to play thrilling casino games using W drip. Remember, W drip is more than a token, it's a foundation for innovation. So I, I agree with what they're doing. I think it is a step in the right direction. And depending on how much drip they get locked into liquidity to support this wrapping function, then everything will be Safu. The only issue that I'm not familiar enough with is the developer needs to answer this question is I know from the last two years that bridges are susceptible to hacks. So how Safu is the bridge, especially after let's say 5 million, 10 million tokens of drip tokens are put on the bridge, how Safu will it be against exploits where uh, tokens can be, I don't know, I don't know how they actually do it, but locked on one side and more W drip is put on the other side. Like, however they were doing bridge hacks, they were commonplace within the last two years in DeFi. So that's the only thing I'm worried about. But having a bridge is a great utility to add because as I mentioned, like casino stuff, it makes it much easier to play with the native token, i.e. W drip, because as you're moving wallets, say like in poker, and you're getting your chips. Well, as you get your chips, those chips go into your wallet. Well, that would be a tax, a transfer tax. And then as you bet, that's another transfer tax. And then all this other stuff, right? So there'd be a lot of taxes moving around, but in a tax less token, that's W drip, that could be very beneficial. So however they did this, um, I think it's great. I am not Safu enough to look at the details on any of this stuff, 
but looks like they have the contracts and all that. So it'll just be a matter of creating a UI for it. So they did four wrap drip tokens that they have here and it transferred flawlessly. Here's the contract. So they made a deposit 11 hours ago, four drip tokens and sent from that address, whoever these guys are, no address. So yeah, looks cool. We will see how it shapes up, but yeah, keep your eyes and ears peeled for things happening in the ecosystem. I know not a lot of people are covering it, but as I just showed you, I just made a six X on my investment of drip tokens. Um, and as more people continue to make utility, the possibilities are endless. So I am in support of the AI drip team and what they're doing. I still am cautious though, because of, like I said, the potential for bridge hacks, as well as um how much manipulation from ray is behind the scenes as well as the fact that they just kind of went dark and left a sour taste in community's mouth as you saw from some of the posts but you got them so ai drip team you got wasteland labs you got the drip warriors team you got uh potentially still DeFi crypto boss and drip 21. you got bnb potluck you got Kitchen Sink, which is doing flawless. So there's a lot of stuff still going on. So I'm still hopeful. Um, I need probably a 100X right now on Drip just for me to break even, maybe a 70X. But with all of this in place, it is possible. Like, I'm not telling you guys to hold your tokens or anything like that, but I wrote it all the way down to the bottom and I told you I'm right until the wheels fall off. And right now they're four flats, but they're still there. <laughs> they haven't fallen off yet and the community is doing lots of stuff with this and if this stuff gets rolled out alongside a nice bnb bull run it is possible now again the other caveat and i'm the only one saying this be careful because i guarantee forex will flip the switch again he still controls the contracts and he i know 100 i'm gonna keep saying it until i'm proven wrong will come back along once drip has let's just say it regains a one dollar price floor he will come on singing praises of how he always believed in drip and how he's always been transparent and always supported the community he never left he just had some bad runs with bad developers and a bunch of fud like he'll he'll gaslight and lie about what actually happened and then he will come up with a quote-unquote new bullish thing which will basically be some kind of faucet 2.0 where he will turn the minting back on and essentially screw the token at that announcement <laughs> that is your signal to sell your bags because you will end up losing if you hold on again because of his ability to delay and not put shit out on time so there will be like a pump in the price because the the acolytes will believe it but he would screw things over again causing inflation all this other stuff and basically repeat remember history doesn't repeat it rhymes so that would be a huge sell signal in my opinion if forex starts announcing how bullish he is on drip and all the new things he's going to be developing so be careful but as of right now, the community has taken this bus ride over. So uh, do your research on Lord of the Flies. I was gonna go into a deeper dive into this, but I'll let you guys figure this all out. It's quite interesting. They picked the pig, which is the governance token in the ecosystem and put it on a stake and talked about how, you know, mocking the, the man who built it all, all this stuff. So there's a lot still going on. I'm gonna continue covering Drip. I've seen a couple comments, people asking me why am I continuing covering it? It's because nobody else will. And I made a pledge to the people that I looked in the eyeballs and got involved in this protocol. I'm gonna keep covering it so that at least bit in the future, people won't get wrecked again, or those that are following will be aware of what's going on and they can make proper moves. So that's all I got. Smash that HBO special. Help a brother out. Like, subscribe, comment down below. And until next time, lift daily and achieve your impossible. See ya. Want to pay your in real life bills with crypto? How about send crypto directly to anyone with a bank account? Spritz Finance is a decentralized solution to be your own bank and connect your crypto earnings to real world bills and payments. They do not take custody of your assets and allow support on multiple blockchains and Web3 wallets. Sign up below using my referral link and you will get $50 back when you make your first $50 bill payment with crypto. Additionally, I will be using referral bonuses to airdrop, donate, or burn based on community feedback. Sign up now.